Hi YouTube, Mike the Gambling Guy here, back at you, and I'm going to be bringing you a new challenge. So hopefully you've just seen the video that I just released on a new money management system, at least the money management system that I've been using for a number of years on roulette, and how that can be incorporated into many different games. But I'm going to prove it out to you here by doing a 10% daily challenge. That's right, 10% daily challenge. Now I did, am just starting with $500, so over the course of the next, I'm going to try to go 22 days. So that's uh, playing without playing on the weekends, and um, I can believe that's 22 days. So that should take my uh, 500 uh, and grow it. So let's let's see where this goes. Uh, and I'm going to be playing online like I always do. If you want to know where I play, I can't tell you. Uh, it goes against YouTube's policy, so you have to send me an email at MikeTheGamblingGuy at gmail.com. More than happy to tell you where I play and, and, and kind of all the, the, the parameters that it takes to do that. But I mean, I'm going to be playing roulette for this challenge. But you can certainly do this uh, same money management system in Baccarat. I even, I even use it in craps, um, even in live. You just sit there and you, you, you can just mark it with your chips and go, okay, I know my first... Bets are going to be this. My next bet's going to be this. It's actually very simple to do uh, live as well. So let's walk through that. Uh, actually, we could do that. So I'm going to be going into roulette. And I do land-based casinos uh, here. So I actually have three. Uh, the, the Grand Casino, I believe, is in Spain. The Hippodrome in England. And then the uh, the one in Malta. So you see my, my uh, table minimums, 50 cent bets. Uh, 50 cents up to 2,000, so quite a quite a good spread. And I like this because I'm actually at a live table. You can see there's there's actually people in the background, so I'm not. I am somewhat subject to a timer, right? But the way that I, I choose my bets is a little bit different. Um, I also uh, make sure that I log down everything. But this is the profit multiplier, and the first three steps it's one unit, one unit, one unit. So if any time that you win your first part of your bet. Your second part is to parlay. It's that simple. And then, so if I won my first bet, I parlayed my second bet, well, then I just won three units profit, right? So, so that's that's the best. Keep doing that. My goal for any session in this in using this is really five units. Another very important rule is that if you have three consecutive losses. Well, it's time to go. Time to go jump to another table. In this case, luckily I do have two other tables that I can do that with. Um, so with that, let me go ahead and I'm going to start uh, logging down my numbers. So I look at the last 500. You know, a lot of people are probably like, I don't want you to do that, Mike, because it's every every spin of the roulette wheel is independent of the last spin, and uh, I know that not to be true. So <laughs> that's all that matters then. Apparently my Excel spreadsheet is going a little bit crazy. It doesn't want me actually clicking on the button here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, and note my numbers. Do I see anything off the bat that looks amazing to bet on? No, I really don't. There's if I look back further in history, um, I would expect this one to go high. So I'm going to make my, my phantom bet just be a bet that if I was going to be making a bet on, that's what I'd be making it on. So the system actually, the spreadsheet knows to mark it. So if you're also interested in the spreadsheet, um, hopefully, hopefully very soon, I'm gonna knock on some wood there that the uh, the app that my son and I have been building is gonna be released here very soon. We are planning on uh, working on it uh, again this weekend. So what what does that app do? That app pretty much does what the spreadsheet does. Because uh, anytime you're looking at that tote board when you're either at the casino, um, you know, live, you're looking at that tote board that's going up and you're really just seeing the red and the black. Kind of same thing here, right? You're seeing the, the red and the black. You might be missing the odds, the evens, the highs and the lows. So that, that app will, will make it run and it actually, it'll go deeper. This one only goes down to like 60 before it tops out. Um, our app 
uh, well not you can you can keep going for as long as you as long as you need to but it just gives you another way another tool in order to, to look at the game uh, a couple of casinos that I go to I can use my phone um, at the table which is which is new right I mean that's that was always unheard of I don't, I don't know what they what they think you're doing maybe they think your your camera's catching as the ball gets spun um, I mean there, there certainly is some technology there that would allow you to say okay within this area given the the speed of the ball and the speed of the wheel you know what what area could that be I mean that that's that's certainly something that's possible not that I'd be doing anything like that don't need to the other thing is when you're sitting at a real table it can take a while to spin it can but I prefer this over the the speed ball of most of the tables online in any casino are just going to be somebody sitting there at the wheel and then every 30 or 45 seconds or I think at the most every minute they're spinning that ball. For me to do what I need to do it takes a little bit longer than that. You might have a different strategy where you're like, ah, I'm good. Right? So 29, so we did we did win that bat. Now with a $500 bankroll, I am doing um, just $5 units. So I am going to do another high bet here. So I'm going to mark this as lowercase a, h, and 1. We just need this to come back in and be another, another high number. got to pay these people out so we had some winners in the table behind us as you know that does slow the game down unfortunately there's not a whole lot I can can do about that actually again I mean I, I go to my basement to play um, so I you know you know a nice thing I don't have that smoke getting blown on my face <laughs> uh, don't, don't worry about any any bad odors whiffing across the table None of that. I don't get to don't get to listen to all the little side conversations that can be going on. You know, some of them can be quite entertaining. <laughs> More times not. Um, sometimes they are. I also don't get to you know celebrate high five with the other people at the table. You know when we when we all hit something good that's yeah, that's that's kind of the fun part. Happens more in craps because you know that's a community game where roulette. Not everybody's always on the same page, but for all those haters that think that uh, any online gaming is fixed, ha, I'd like to see how they're fixing this. People are literally sitting at a live casino. All they're doing is, is just doing an electronic connection between the two and going, okay, well we're just going to allow more people to bet. They're saying we're, we're in the gambling business. Let's take a gamble. They're not, I don't believe they're fixing the game here. Now, I, I did see an online casino that I thought they probably were, but that was one where they were um, just spinning the ball. And uh, it, it, I mean, they can they can electrify the wheel um, to to where you know the ball will not go into certain slots where the big money's at. That can that is absolutely a thing that can happen. Reverse polarity of a magnet, push it away. There's a lot of different things that you, that you can do. But when you're sitting at a real live casino that you could literally walk your feet into, I, I can't see that uh, that they're going to be cheating us here online. And I mean, well, why do they want to cheat me? I'm playing with five bucks. I mean, it's, it's, not a, it's not a ridiculous bet. Look at the hands going feverishly behind us. Because they're like, <laughs> that balls, he's going to say no more bets here in a second. I got to get those last chips in. I only play the outside bets unless there's what, what I call the perfect storm. And that's that's where uh, the strategy comes up and says, okay, you're, you're going to have a good bet on this, that, and the other. And then that just points to what the inside numbers are. 22, we have a winner. 
So now our next bet, right? We're still on A. The next, when I make the next bet, you don't have to bet every time, right? Unfortunately, if I don't bet every time, this video is going to be really long. Um, <laughs> so here we look, let's let's go ahead and we're just going to double that, but I am going to move it to the low side. There's a reason for it. There is. So I don't put an A here. I already have the A, so I'm just going to go L. Two. Let the spreadsheet track spreadsheet track it. Um, I mean, that's one thing the app won't do. The app won't actually track where I'm at with my bets. But if I'm sitting at the at the table, and I'm doing that with my chips, I've got my chips set up in a certain way that I track where I'm at in my betting progression with my chip stacks. So you can see that. Uh, total units. So this would go down to 13 steps, right? Because my number one here on my spreadsheet is just my my titles from you know my columns of, of what those are, and then uh, that I put letters in here for the significant steps because the first three are the same, the next two are the same. After that, they're all independent, so I don't need to put letters or numbers next to them. You just kind of follow along. Um, and the reason why my total units is only one unit here because I only put one unit at risk. Right out of my bankroll, then I've got you're going. Well, you're betting two units here. Yeah, well, it's the one unit I won and the one unit I put at risk. So I really only have uh, for my bankroll one unit at risk. Same thing. So it's one plus one equals two. One plus one plus one. You got it. Equals three. It's five plus seven. It's only this side that, that's really coming out of your bankroll. So here I just need to have 89 units in my bankroll. You can see I've got a $500. Um, bankroll right now that is a hundred units and throughout this challenge this 10% challenge I'm planning on keeping um, close to a hundred units uh, as long as the bet makes sense right, I'm not gonna do like a 550 bet to 600 I can do a six dollar bet that went high again. 21. Ooh. Yeah. That's all right. Now we're going down to B. For one nickel. So we go back to our base unit because B is calling for one. And that's going to be on high again. So this is we're going to mark B, H, one. And this really keeps me disciplined because I can tell you, I have pissed away some bank rolls on Martingale where I just get a little too cocky and go, okay, I didn't win this one. I'm going to win the next one. And um, that's more of my, my, well, my last bank roll. Uh, sports betting actually blew that up. I always say I'm horrible at sports betting. Um, and it's true. I am horrible at it. <laughs> horrible. Horrible at sports betting. Uh, so that's, that's where the Martingale blew me up in sports betting. But before that, I got done, and I was I was just going over to Baccarat, just just get a couple bucks, and just got into a, a bad losing streak, and just wiped out what I had there, and just I hate that feeling. I'm like, why don't I just play roulette? You know, because I, I, I play using the method, casino income for life method. So now if we're on B, we get our back-to-back -back wins, we are going to be locking in two units. Two of the five that I want to get during this session. Hopefully we get through this session. Looks like I've already been recording for 15 minutes and I've made uh, two bets. But that dealer is very busy at that table. Looks like a, looks like a full table. And there's the little one. So we're going deeper in our progression. So this is C high one. Now this one should come back and be black and high. Don't know if it's going to be even or odd, but uh, it should be black and high. Both really good bets. Yeah. 
even or odd, I've got nothing on even or odd. I do feel really good about black and high. So I have told you about the boomerang, right? So Steve, Steve's allowed me to talk about two bats. <laughs> so the boomerang is one. So we've got at least five on the high side. It's gone to the low side. The energy should say it should come back to the other side. Should go, should come back to the high side. There is an, of course, there is an exception to that, which we are not currently in. But uh, there, there, there is an exception. So it's not always the case. But most most parts it is. I actually have a double reason why this is going high. And then the other is the perfect storm, right? So the perfect storm, if this was black, high, and clearly even or odd, then we'd have a perfect storm, which that would be the one time that I go in and I play the inside numbers as well. But here I got black and high. We see I'm still only making uh, one bet. Actually, no. Uh, you're probably going make the make the bet. <laughs> yeah, I didn't make my bet. I wrote it down. So I want to say, where did my chip go? Just under the wire here. So there, there's people that say, well, you know, we watch the dealer. The, the dealer releases the ball about the same spot every time. Actually, I want you to watch your dealer. Where's his eyes? Where's your dealer's eyes when he's spinning the roulette ball? He ain't looking at the wheel. He can't. He's got to look at the table, make sure nobody's doing anything fishy. He has to try to keep his eye on the game, not on the wheel. He knows how to throw the ball. Black and high. Just didn't know if it was going to be odd or even. Crazy, isn't it? Crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> so this one we're going to go double. This one's going on black. So again, on the spreadsheet, I don't mark C. I just mark B and 2. And then sit back here and wait for the magic to happen. Now here, we end up getting our second bet. Yeah, we, we did get our back-to-back. -back. We've recouped all of our prior losses, and we've locked in a profit. Profit of one is, is what's going to be on this one, which, I mean, I'll start over again with a profit of one. I'm okay with that. I'm surprised to see how busy the table is already. I mean, it's early where I'm at. I understand England's many hours ahead of me. I believe seven hours. Anybody that's watching, if you've ever played in the Hippodrome, either shoot me a message or, or, or put put a comment in. Um, I mean, I love to travel the world, go to different casinos. I have yet to, have, I've not gone to Europe. Um, mostly, I just, just don't really care. <laughs> it's not, not really on my bucket list. Um, there, there's so many other places that I, I, I want to go see. Unfortunately, Europe's just not on my list. I haven't been to all the states yet either. Just 49 of our 50 states and Puerto Rico. Shout out to Puerto Rico. There's our black. We had a repeater. So now, woohoo! What do we do now? Well, we, we actually um, kind of go back to, to where we were, right? So now we're back to A. And this is gonna be a red one. So we've locked in that one unit of profit so now we're taking our, our unit here. I'm going on red. It'd be nice if we could do a bang bang, get three, three, three units. Get me up to at least four units, and then get four units. I think I'll just just call the video if we get if we can get this thing right four units in the next two. Um, I think half an hour is, uh, is is plenty. I don't like to keep my don't like to have my sessions kind of longer than that. Usually I'm not waiting so long between spins. But he really has a busy table. But I much prefer sitting at this live table again than the spin the ball every minute or less. Just because sometimes it does take me longer to go through the steps I need to to make sure that I've got a, a good bet. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes they're, they're pretty obvious. So like here, I'd be looking for a red odd number. I don't know if it's going high or low. 
But red and odd right now are really good bets. Red is a better bet. So that's why my chip is sitting on red. That's why it's also not a perfect storm. Now I have seen some people win some crazy money playing roulette, right? Because they're inside betting the inside numbers and they're putting fifty, hundred dollars, you know, straight up on a number. Um, that's just, that's just not my game. Yeah, they can hit some big numbers. They can hit some big bats. They can also wash through a lot of money very quickly. And that's typically the case when I'm sitting there playing roulette as I just watch watch the money wash over the table. People are like, yeah, but your bets are boring, man. You're only betting the outside bets. Yeah. I mean, I, I, got, a, I got a 50% chance of winning. I mean, if somebody can put down enough money in the inside, they also have a 50% chance of winning. Put down 17 chips, it's going to hit one, it's going to pay you 35 to one. You just won double your money. <gasps> how about I How about I bet with a bigger denomination for a shorter amount of time? I mean, that's the other thing. With the... Um, with this system, typically when I go to the casino, I'm, I'm looking at a 20 unit bankroll. Um, so, you know, take, take $2,000, I'll be betting $100 at a time. Win five, five units, good. Quite often I'll ask people, you know, what's your win goal? And the, they look at me like I'm just speaking another language. And uh, you, you have to have a win goal. You also have to have your stop loss, right? When, when are you going to bail? So red and odd. 13579, 1921, 23, 25, 27. And went, went black again, darn it. 24. What's, what's next to 24? Yeah, number five. This is not a boomerang because it did not go five times. So we are going to go black for B. B for black. That's just how that worked out. Yeah, so normally I'll do 20, I'll take 20 units. So that means I am able to go down eight steps. Right? I can do eight steps on the profit multiplier. Eight steps a long way. I mean, having 13 steps is certainly fantastic to have. Never had to get close to that. Playing the method from Casino Income for Life. Have I had to do it playing Baccarat? <laughs> oh yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. I've had to do it playing Baccarat. But at least you get back-to-back -back wins and, you, and you're back. Right? So hopefully you get that streak of uh, players rather than bankers. Only because the bankers can kind of ding you that commission. And then it's then might be that, that's the thing to consider too is if you're on the if you're on the banker side winning you might be back you might not because uh, if you're win profit after the after that entire win you know if I've got all the way down here to step eight and I've now bet ten units uh, for my parlay part. I mean, they're they're taking a half a unit in uh, in commissions, right? I had to pay uh, what, twenty five. So now I'm up quarter of a unit for a lock in win. Now I'll take a quarter of a unit lock in win if I'm you know eight progressions down. But just think about that. Not saying throw extra money at it. I mean, getting back to even is a win. Certainly, certainly can be a win. And yeah, it went red. Urg. All right, 12. It's going to show that uh, we're now going to see. I don't have a great bet, but it, it is a, it's not, it's not quite a perfect storm. It's not rated high enough. Uh, but I can see this going red, odd, and low. 
So at this point, I'm going to lock in my next unit. That's where we're going to call the video. <laughs> gotta, gotta call this in sometime. To see them using the uh, outside set often. I'm surprised they made it even bet. I mean, the way that I'm seeing this is going to be red, odd, and low. Well, they did get their even bet. So, what does that leave us? That leaves us on the next part of our rule, right? So, what's the rule of playing profit multiplier? Well, if you lose three bets in a row, and look, I've got X, 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 one, two, three, those are three bets in a row. That's also my trigger to say, I'm out. So now what's gonna happen is when I come back in, I'm gonna be playing on capital A. Gonna be playing two units is gonna be my, my next bet there. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna end this video. Um, look for the continuation part two so you don't have to don't have to keep watching me uh, jump over to another table put all my numbers back in and, and, and look at doing that but I am going to uh, continue this video with a part two so you can see the continuation that we go from what we're at currently what 490 now because we had we had one one unit of profit and then uh, we just took uh, just took a few losses here to where we're going to be now at our, our fourth step capital A two units so until next time, Mike the Gambler Guy, I'm out.